Hi friends, welcome to another video of Big Tech Talk. Today we will explore JDBC plugin of Logstash. So let's get started. A quick description to it. JDBC plugin was created to pull the data from any database with JDBC interface and then push that data into Elasticsearch via Logstash. While doing so, each column in the result set are converted into fields in the event. To use this plugin, we have few requirements. First, a JDBC driver. Second, a database. And third, a Logstash configuration file. So, I have already installed MySQL database on my PC and have downloaded its JDBC driver. Now, I will create a table in MySQL. I will go to MySQL, login as root. To create table in MySQL, I already have few commands. As you can see, I have created a table with the name log plugin which has job ID, job name, execution time and job status as the column name. So we are done with the database part. Now let's go and create a configuration file. Before writing the configuration file, let's see some important tags which are used in it. This is our configuration file. JDBC driver library. We have to mention the JDBC jar location over here. JDBC driver class. Mention the JDBC driver class name. In our scenario, it will be com.mysql.jdbc.driver. JDBC connection string. Mention the connection string with host, port and the schema name. JDBC user and JDBC password. Username and password of MySQL will come over here. Schedule. This is to set the frequency at which we want to query the database. Statement. Our SQL query will find the place over here. Using the selected tags which I have mentioned just now, you will end up in sending all the data from database to log stash each time. Once again, I repeat that we will end up in sending all the data from database to log stash each time. And we don't want this to happen. Our core requirement is to send the incremental data to log stash. So, we will be using a tag called SQL last value. The default value of this tag is 0 or 1st of Jan 1970. But this value can be changed if we use use column value and tracking column. If use column value is true and the tracking column has a column name then the value of SQL last value can be changed. And the output part. We have Elasticsearch, host, our Elastic host and the port number and our index. Our index name is logstash mysql. Now in the configuration file, we will change the schema name and the table name. Save it. Now let's go to PowerShell and trigger the log stash. This is my log stash location. You can see the log stash folder and my configuration file. So I will write log stash bin logstash hyphen f and the configuration file name. Let's hit enter. By the time it will start, we will go to Kibana UI. Management, Index Pattern, Create Index Pattern. Our index should come over here.
As you can see, our pipeline is started, but it is not able to send any data since the SQL last value is zero from the previous query. So we will go to MySQL and insert some data into our table. As you can see, I have inserted 10 records. Let's go to PowerShell and see. We can see that Logstash has processed the data. Let's go to Kibana UI. Click on Create Index Pattern. Yeah, this is our index name. We will map this index to Kibana UI. Time is time. Create index pad. This is our execution time, job ID, job name, and job status. Okay, so let's go to discover section. Yeah, you can see our 10 records are here. Now again, we will go to MySQL and push some more records. Just refresh it. As you can see, we have received the next 10 records. So friends, we are done with today's video. In next video, we will try to create some graph on top of this. So friends, if you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe for more such videos. Thank you.